Good morning and welcome to your Friday Faith Philip. I'm excited about this weekend. We have our international dinner on Saturday evening and we have our Faith Promise Missions Commitment on Sunday morning, a very important time of year for our church. And as I think on that, my mind would turn to John chapter 4 and Jesus' concern for souls. In verse number 4, the Bible tells us that Jesus must needs go through Samaria. The implication there is that this was uh, an altering of the course that they were going on, <clears throat> but it was intended and planned on by Jesus himself. But he must needs go. But it also goes into verse number 5 that they went into Samaria and they went to a city that by all accounts from the gospel, it's the only time that he went to the city of Sychar. So he goes to this one city for this, this one woman that needs to hear the truth of the water that she could drink and never thirst again. Now this is a woman that is rejected by everybody else. She's been married five times and been divorced five times and now she's living with a man that she's not even married to. And, and, and again, most people have rejected this woman, but Jesus saw the value of this woman as so great that he took his disciples into this place, into Samaria, a place where the Jews typically did not go. He took the, the, the disciples into this place for this one woman. So he went to this one place that he would only go one time for this woman that he would only speak to one time by all the record that we have in the gospel. What 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 are the value Jesus puts upon the soul of this woman? What about us? What value do we put upon the souls of those that we come in contact with on a daily basis? We're going to have many appointments, if you will, with people on a regular basis. We'll, we'll see somebody one time. We will never see them again. We ought to be burdened for them. We ought to, at the very least, give them a track. We ought to uh, do our best to give them the gospel. We ought to invite them to church, do everything we can to reach them for the Lord because of the value of their soul. It's worth going out of Jesus' way. It ought to be worth going out of our way. It ought to be worth inconveniencing ourselves and even burdening ourselves, if you will, to give the gospel to somebody, to invite somebody to church. What a great responsibility and a great privilege we have. And what a joy it is to be able to do that and some of the great conversations that you can have with somebody. I'm reminded of a conversation I had with someone recently that uh, I was just telling them uh, about our church and inviting them, and they just wanted somebody to pray with them. That made me realize that these people just need some love from the Lord. They need the gospel. They need the truth that, hey, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter how you've been rejected. It doesn't matter the situation that you're going through. Jesus loves you, and because of that, I love you, and I want to talk to you about a wonderful Savior. What a great, great privilege that we have. Now, as we focus on giving over uh, uh, th this weekend, we ought to focus on our going into our community, going to the Sychars, going to the women at the well, the people that nobody else is going to talk to. It's an awesome job that we have in front of us. It's, over, it's enormous, but what about that great reward of being able to give the gospel to somebody? We'll see you all on Sunday morning.